Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today I am going to tell you the one thing you need to do to be a success to be a successful writer. Just one thing. It's the only thing you need to do. If you do this one thing, everything else will follow. All your answers, all all your questions will be answered okay i'm not trying to oversell this or anything but it's the fucking god's honest truth okay and hear me out when i say it because a lot of you are gonna go oh fucking clickbait and click off as soon as i fucking say this but if you're serious about being a fucking writer or being a fucking poet or being a screenwriter or a songwriter or whatever any kind of artist if you're serious, you'll stick around until the end of this thing, okay? Because here's the deal. The only thing you need to be successful is happiness. That sounds fucking stupid, but hear me out, okay? Success is completely relative based on whoever's talking, okay? Okay? Some people are super successful because they make $500,000 a year. Whatever. Just throw a fucking number out. Doesn't necessarily mean they're thrilled with their life or anything like that. But if they're happy doing the thing, then that's all that matters. There's other people who live in L.A. in a shitty little studio apartment and make enough money to not be homeless. That is successful for that person, okay? Some of you may live in a place, in a town, in a state where the cost of living is very, very low and you can afford to do your art and sell it online and get by. Getting by I'm not trying to, like, have everyone lower their fucking bar of everything, but getting by as an artist? That's fucking amazing. Most artists can't fucking do that. Either they're too fucking scared, or their expectations of what success is is a lot higher. Okay? <clears throat> but it just, it totally depends on what you think success means one of the biggest problems i think that a lot of people come across when they are artists is being in a relationship with someone who is not okay being in a relationship with somebody who has expectations of what they want their life to be i've been there it's fucking hard and it makes you feel like you're not doing enough and that you're not good enough. You know, because you do all these things and in your head, you're like, I'm pretty fucking successful. But then your partner is like, we don't have this. We don't have this. I want to do this. I want to do this. You can't provide this. Blah, 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 blah. Now, when this happens, you have to ask yourself what is more important there? Your happiness with your success at the level of your success or the relationship that you're in and not being able to voice those opinions. Because a lot of people don't even understand that this is something that could be talked about. Because when you start saying that success is relative based on happiness, like, that's just like, what the fuck? But when you think about it, it makes a fuck lot of sense. But because it's not something that's tangible, a lot of people don't think to even think of that thing. Do you see what I'm saying? So for those of you who have written me recently and ask me about this. I hope this is helpful for you. Um, on another note, I'm going to be 
um, on a couple different podcasts coming up in the next few months talking a little bit about this thing right here. So if there's any other questions about this kind of thing that you want me to tackle, let me know what those are in the comments down below. But just realize that all you have to do is set what your goals are. Like what would make you happy as an artist? Like base level stuff. Because you could always grow from there. But what's the base? Like where would you be happy as an artist? Figure that out and leave it down below too. I would love to hear what you guys think. Like for me, it's not being homeless. I know that's a fucking low bar, but and I I kind of do well over that. But the idea of like making sure that I can do what I can do without having to like have a horrible fucking job that I hate around people that I fucking hate, you know, like just being able to survive is like a fucking victory every fucking day. Okay. So what is it for you? What's your thing? Okay. So let me know down below. Keep buying my books. I don't have any right here, but if I did, it would be here. Me as an action hero. Oh, I did it again. Me as an action figure. Pick it up now on Etsy. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later.